What's up guys? This is another video unboxing. As you can see, it's another One Piece statue. But this time, we are gonna be unboxing a statue from Ryu Studio, which is their crocodile. So, let's begin. So I noticed in their brown box, they have this, some kind of corner protectors which is a nice touch to protect their shipping and I think this is a great idea and I think other studios should also follow with this idea to protect their boxes while shipping although we cannot do anything about stuffs like this but at least for the corners they would be preserved and I don't think it's going to cost much for the studios to add this. So here is the art box for the statue. It's super simple, super plain. An all yellow art box without any artwork on the outside. Just the logo of Ryu Studio and the word crocodile. So let's find out what's inside. So we are immediately greeted with the, uh, um, I guess the certificate of authenticity, but it's a shame that I don't open these envelopes because as I've said uh, before, I don't like displaying my certificates of authenticity so I cannot, um, I won't be able to show you guys what the certificate looks like. So I just found out that they are not providing uh, instruction manual for this build. So this is going to be an exciting build. We're going to build it using our feel. And later I'm going to unpack all of this and gonna do a top shot for our reboxing purposes. Also I noticed with the uh, Ryu packaging is they are packed really well really quality quality packing with a lot of styro pieces in between so i we also need to study the where the styro pieces go for our reboxing purposes also but i should i could say that the packaging is really top quality Okay, so I discovered a plaque here showing their certificate of authenticity. So I'm curious whether that envelope really is a certificate of authenticity or is a or their I mean their instruction manual. So as I said, this is my first Ryu Studio piece, so I'm not really familiar. And I'm really anxious to open this, but I guess we need to, just to find out if this is a certificate of authenticity or the instruction manual. If it is, then I'm, uh, then good for us. But if it's not, I'm going to be so disappointed because I'm going to mess up this beautiful seal. So let's find out. This is why I hate opening these envelopes because you see how it messes up the envelope. Oh, damn it. So it's... So it's really the certificate. So it's not an instruction manual. So there's a redundancy here. They already provided a certificate there. And instead of giving as uh, an instruction manual, they provided another certificate of authenticity plaque here. But I guess this is, to, this is to show this artwork. But I'd much prefer an instruction manual. 
rather than this black. But anyway, too bad for us. Still, at least I, I was able to show you guys the certificate of authenticity. Well, a nice glue would make this look like 80% brand new. <laughs> That's a lesson learned for us, for me at least, that if it's a sealed envelope, never, never think that an instruction manual is inside. It's always the cert certificate. So here's a close-up look at the location of the parts on the styro. So here is the first layer of styro. So this is how the parts are positioned. So that when we rebox this, for whatever reason, we're not gonna have a hard time figuring out where the parts go. So here we have a magnet here, which goes on this pipe thing, and make sure this magnet aligns on this side. So something like that. I'm not sure if we still need to press it all the way in, but I think this is gonna hold. So his cape here also acts as a stabilizer for this piece because the end of the cape perfectly sits on top of this base here. So it won't have to be as unstable if there's no cape here. Make sure when you're fitting in the cape to clear this piece right here or you should put the cape before putting in this piece here so that you won't have any problem. Now we put on his fur coat. So I still feel a little bit uneasy with the stability of Crocodile even with the keep support because I still feel that it could slip but hopefully not and uh, we're still glad that there's a support here uh, compared to nothing at all. So I had to remove the, this fur again because I found out that 
in order for us to fit in these sleeves, his coat sleeves, we need to remove the fur coat otherwise it won't fit. So it's like this. And the other, his right sleeve goes here. Like this. Then we could fit the fur coat, the fur. to lock the sleeves in place. Next, we find the pieces for this soldier here. So we have here his right arm. His left arm, wilted, his wilted left arm. And his head. So you see the nice neck details and the nice facial expression. Also make sure not to forget that there's a very small piece on the styro containing the soldier's uh, ribbon right here. Next is this sand effect which goes on his right leg. Usually I'm very bad at finding where these small pieces go, especially without a, a manual, but luckily I found it in just a few seconds. So next we have here his uh, right hand. So there's a hole there which should, uh, which should be where the his sand goes, which is this one. Next we have here his infamous hook. Not sure about the space here. Let's try another. Okay, so it should be connected like this so that there's no space. So make sure to connect it properly. Next is we find out where this sword goes. This sword is super heavy. It's made of metal, real metal. So let's find out where this slots in. Or maybe I found it already over here, the back. Or maybe not. Okay, so I found where this sword goes, which is this slot right here. at his, under his left foot. And finally, to complete the build is, we put on his head. So here is his head. Make sure to take really good extra care with his bangs here 
because it's super flimsy, super um, super thin, and I know there should be a cigar. Should there be a cigar on his mouth? I'm not sure, but here is crocodile in all its glory. I I I can definitely say this is the best, the best rendition of crocodile in a statue ever. Because you could see the. Although it's a museum pose, but there's still the diorama-like pieces around him that shows off his power and also this uh, diorama piece of this soldier really gives off a sense of what his power do so good job Ryu studio for giving us this crocodile piece Definitely one of the best pieces out there of crocodile or if not for a one-piece statue. So I checked the, this um, plaque and there's definitely a cigar in his mouth. So let's see where that is. And in this plaque, you could also see that we put the sandstorm on his, ha on his hand the wrong way. So let's fix that. So this is where the cigar is located on this box together with the base on this area. So here he is. So this piece would complete the this crocodile statue by Ryu. So I'm having a hard time putting on this cigar because I don't think there's a magnet or something to hold it inside his mouth unlike the Jimei Ehailu where it sticks easily because of the magnet. But this looks like it's just forced in looks like it should be forced in and held in its place by force or I'm, I'm not sure because I tried the, the mouth is only a small area so if there's a magnet there sh you should feel it but I don't feel anything here but I guess I'm gonna just put it down for a bit and ask around how to put on the cigar or else if I force it, I'm definitely gonna break it. So this is it. Uh, Ryu Studios Crocodile. As I said, one of the best One Piece statue out there, personally. Even though it's not as grand as the other Jimmy pieces in terms of the diorama and dynamic pose still has its own presence so that's it so on the next video i'm gonna show you where i will put it on my display cabinet and i'm gonna be having another unboxing video soon so please stay tuned for that and see you on the next video